So Ari came to Creative Growth with an obsession um, around KISS and around rock and um, that kind of thing. And she was drawing KISS figures. Her mom took her to a KISS concert when she was about 18, like at the height of KISS's career. And um, she started drawing. And she was also obsessed with the Addams Family. So those were kind of the two starting points. And then um, somewhere after being here for a five or six years she started having a really strong style that was all, all her own and is more this harlequin style that we see now but still harks back to kiss like you never know when that's going to show up and she moves back and forth in time with her ideas i mean her art like a lot of people young people with disabilities really reflects pop culture yeah, I mean, I call it the Harlequin. It's actually this clock plate face, which is the male figure that's always red, and this woman that looks more like the kiss figure that's always green. Um, everything's androgynous. There are no rules. It can go back and forth. It can be mixed red and green, but pretty much um, this red and green figure is the consistent part of her work. Color is a huge part, and um, yeah, there's no way to really know. She doesn't. Ari doesn't have a lot of language skills. Yeah, it's really difficult to understand what she's saying. She's um, autistic and um, just never picked up language. Some people have described it as like if you were typing on a keyboard, you just move your fingers over a little bit to the right and started typing from there. You know, like you're going through the same motions, but it's just not, words are not being produced from it. specifically draws food that she can't eat. So there's a lot of sweets in there. And I, her, I mean, it's definitely a cathartic thing, the art making, um, that she can focus on these things that she just can't like possess in life herself. So um, going at the art helps her find satisfaction in those areas where she just, you know, doesn't have experience in them. I can tell you she has a fascination with witches, and she'll, she will, she'll say witch. <laughs> so this is an example of one of her witches. That's why she looks bewitched, and I dream a genie, and she's all like, you know, bewitched, and yeah. So, because they're magical. I mean, she has a sixth sense, for sure. I mean, she's very, you know, I, I know she's into psychic or spiritual phenomena. It's definitely, yeah, definitely. And she'll look at me, and she'll just like, witch, you know, you're a witch and I'm a witch, you know, so, and, um, she's real interested in all that, and, and she's had, I've had dreams, really clear dreams of her, where I, it, you know, there's a connection we form for sure, you know, and I almost feel like she's communicating, she's kind of shamanic, she has kind of a shamanic side that, um, comes through in her art, yeah. Yeah, she's connected. Oh yeah, she's definitely connected.